high school students from across the country are headed to the Texas Motor Speedway to put handmade solar powered cars to the test. Our Sean Giggy takes us inside the challenge where science meets speed. This weekend and into next week, the solar car challenge is happening here at Texas Motor Speedway. High school STEM students from around the country have spent years working on and tweaking and building solar powered cars. You can see this one right here. This is a team from Fort Worth joining me this morning and Nathaniel's right here, part of the team. Now, Nathaniel, you told me you are 15, meaning you it, in order to drive this. I know you're just on the track here that you're not taking these on the roads, but still in order to drive these, you have to have your driver's license so you can't even drive this thing, right? That is correct. That being said, I imagine you get to spend, a, since you can't drive it, you get to spend a lot of time working on it, tweaking, doing engineering, planning, designing, being able to dig into that part of the process. How much have you learned through that? I've learned a lot. I've actually learned a lot about structural stability with um, our ladder frame. So our frame is, as you can see, we don't have any trusses. I didn't think that would work, but it works really well because it's rigid material. There's no joints on here, so it doesn't move at all. Those welds are rigid. And you said you want to you want to go to college for engineering after you're done with high school. You're only a sophomore right now. Has this just inspired you and maybe given you more fuel or confirmed what you wanted to do? Yeah, it really has. It helped me. It helps me like confirm that I really want to do engineering because this is really fun for what, I, what I'm doing right now. And whether or not you work on solar cars later on in life. Um, I, Obviously, solar cars are not prominent on roadways right now. It's it's hard to make them efficient enough and and, and all that. But do you think what what your t what you high school students are learning today that maybe one day you will be able to utilize technology like this? That you may be the generation that gives us efficient and clean and safe vehicles like this. Do you think that's possible? Very much so. I believe, in my personal opinion, I believe that the whole spirit of the solar car challenge is to show that adults can make um solar powered vehicles that are road legal just like we can because we're teenagers if we're teenagers then adults can do it too that's right if teenagers can do it you adults can do it maybe we should use that example in all aspects of life because i feel like teenagers have a lot to to teach us all you got any other life lessons not really we'll uh, save that for the next segment i guess yeah <laughs> All right, well, Nathaniel and your team, thank you for joining us this morning in Solar Car Challenge. The winner will be determined. I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but one of the biggest factors is out here on the track. Sunday through Wednesday, they will be driving these around the track, and whoever drives the farthest, not the fastest, but whoever drives the farthest over the course of four days will win the Solar Car Challenge. Good luck to your team, Nathaniel, and you at home. If you want to come out and watch, it's open to the public. Sunday through Wednesday, they will be racing on the track, so come on out.